No sign of him yet? No. Nick, what makes you so sure it's Browse we're after? One of the newest hands at the ranches. Why? That's no reason, though. Well, he told me himself he used to hang around Cherokee's trip. Well, so did I once. That don't make a man a thief. Well, I got it all figured out. Scientifically, right from this book. Isn't that one of the books Jared brought home? That's right. And this uh, Winfield, he's got it all figured out. Says you can spot a criminal by his face. His ears, for example. By his what? His ears. Now, the way I make it out is that you uh, draw a line straight back from a man's eye. And if his ear falls below that line, he's a criminal. That's all? That's it. So, we started missing things around the ranch, and, uh, well, I started taking a closer look at all the hands. And you came up with Bill Browse? He's got the lowest ears. <laughs> Quiet. Shh. Well, we'll see who laughs now. It's Bill Bryles. I tell you. What? What's wrong? Look at that. Low ears. Browse, what are you doing out here? What do you mean, what am I doing out here? Just answer the question. Now, look, I didn't do nothing wrong. What's going on here? We just caught ourselves a thief. Nick, Bryles and I rode out here together looking for you. He could still be the thief. Nick, not 20 minutes ago, somebody broke into the tack room and stole four of our best saddles. That's what we rode out here to tell you. Well, now, how do you know it wasn't him? Because he was standing right beside me when it happened. Oh. Nick, why don't you let the sheriff handle these things? Do that, will you, Nick? Maybe you got it wrong, Nick. Maybe we're supposed to be on the lookout for people with high ears. Chapter four, suspects. Find out. First, sign a couple of papers. And I'll wait inside. Uh, Nick, you'd have just about enough time to go see the sheriff. Oh, I'll get around to that. Oh, uh, by the way, here's something you can have. Winfield. Mm -hmm. So that's what that ear business was all about. A lot he knows. Well, if you'd asked, Nick, before you ran off playing detective, I could have told you there's no proof his system works. I got proof it don't. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. It's all the excitement. Beer. Oh, no, 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 whiskey. Whiskey. Did you catch your thief? They just pour the whiskey. You didn't catch him. Anyone ask you? I never knew you detective fellows were so temperamental.
Maggie, I remember the good old days when bartenders used to mind their own business. Hmm, I remember the good old days, too. You know, there hasn't been a big spender in here since the 4th of July. Well, here's the big spender. Hmm. Right. The town's full of drovers now, and they don't get paid until all cattle are sold. Well, nothing to do but wait. Well, you're waiting through, lady. Here. Play some. You, uh, dance? Why not? I think we better sit this one out. I just saw you want a little excitement, honey. Watch it, Sonny. Say, how old are you, anyhow? Old enough, sister. Hey, there's enough here to set them up for everybody. Well, wait a minute, boy. Put that money back in your pocket. Hey, why don't you stick your nose back into your own business, mister? What's the matter? Didn't you hear me? You put that bottle back up here on this bar right now. So don't worry about it, mister. There's enough here to buy this whole stinking place. I don't care how much is there. I don't sell to kids. Now, give me that bottle. Here. Now, you don't want to shoot the best bartender in Stockton, do you? I told you to cut it out. Now, hold it. Well, a bunch of real sports, huh? What's your name, mister? Who, me? Nick. Nick Barkley. Oh, what's yours? Danny. Just Danny. And you want to remember that, Barkley. Oh, Danny, I sure will remember it. Here, you take this gun, put it back in your holster, and leave it there. Now, you better get on home before your folks start wondering where you are. Desperado. You were lucky you weren't gunned down. Harry, give my brother here some for his nerves, will you? You know, I think I've seen that kid somewhere before. That kid's hard to overlook. Give me one, too, will you, Harry? What was going on? Well, first of all, he came in here. He's going to buy the place a drink. Then he's going to buy the place. <laughs> then he's going to shoot Harry. <laughs> Sheriff catches him running around with that gun on. He's going to be in a mess of trouble. Oh, he and trouble aren't too much strangers, I'm afraid. You know, Nick? Hmm. He reminds me of somebody I used to know. Yeah, who? You, when you were about that age. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. I can remember you getting bailed out of quite a few scrapes when you were no older than he is. Two of a kind, huh? Wiggins. Wiggins who? Well, that's what that boy's name is, Daniel Wiggins. I can remember I did some legal work for his parents when they moved here about a year ago. What kind of parents let a boy out like that? They probably don't know who he is. I think it was a doctor at Mrs. Wiggins. I made some kind of a financial arrangement to keep him in school up in San Francisco. They live out on the north side of town, just beyond the stage stop. Well, that boy doesn't straighten out. He's never going to see the best side of 16. Oh, he'll probably grow out of it, grow up to be mayor. Mm-hmm, probably. Uh, Nick, speaking of city officials, when are you going to go see the sheriff? I was going to go over there, uh... Well, of course not. If you're a little too embarrassed to let him know that you've been doing detective work on your own, I'll be I'm very... I'm going. And Harry, he's by. Wiggins? Yes, what is it? Well, uh, my name's Nick Barkley. And, uh, well, I know it's none of my business, but uh, it's about your son, Danny. What on earth are you talking about? Well, 
Well, he seems to be making quite a show of himself around town, and I thought maybe you and the good doctor should know about it before he gets into trouble. Mr. Barkley, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a son. Well, but you, you just said that... Uh... I believe my wife was quite explicit, sir. We do not have a son. I... Now, good day, sir. so busy in town that, well, I... Nick? Jared, uh, you said the doctor and Mrs. Wiggins live out by the old stage stop, right? Yeah, that's right. I went out to see them. You know what they told me? No, I don't know what they told you. They didn't even have a son. Well, they do. Well, now, why would they say such a thing, then? I don't know, but what I am interested in is what the sheriff intends to do about our two missing horses and five of our best saddles. Will you stop pushing? I intend telling him. When? Nick, are you going to help me move that herd saddle or not? Heath, you're the one I've been waiting for. Come on, let's go. Nick! You coming? Where have you been? I was out there in the barn getting the gear ready. In the barn? Ain't no work in the barn. The work's out where I am. Well, you should get in a hurry. Hey! My saddle! It's gone! Out again? Yeah, this thief must be half Indian. He sure knows how to cover tracks. Just got that saddle broke in good, too. Looks like I'm going to have to break in another one. All right. I think it's best I wouldn't see the sheriff. Come on, Coco. Get up. Yeah. Yeah. Four days. You finally get around to telling me about it. There were reasons, Fred. Yeah, sure. That's all you're missing? Up till now. I haven't checked in the past ten minutes. Get in line and take your turn. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, it means this, Nick. For the last two weeks, there's been a rash of thievery. Every outlying ranch for 15 miles has been hit. You think it's a gang or something? I don't know. Well, there have been some drovers in town, but I haven't made up my mind yet. No clues? Nothing? Nothing. Nobody's heard anything. Nobody's seen anything. I circled every branch, looking for tracks. The few tracks I found just petered out before they led anywhere. Yeah, Heath and I had the same kind of luck. Yeah. Nick, I'll do the best I can. Thank you, Fred. I'll see you later. Said I wanted words with you, boy. Well, I don't want none with you. Don't you get smart with me. Just stay away from me. Why'd you come back here? Well, I'll tell you. I knew you'd be worried about me. Daddy. You touch me one more time and I'll blow your head off. You murderous little savage. Get out of this town before something happens. Go away, for your mother's sake. <laughs> what are you whispering about, huh? You afraid somebody's gonna hear? <laughs> She's my mother! She's my...
Barkley, I want to talk to you. Well, I should have figured. Why did you follow me, Barkley? You set that trap for me out there. Uh-huh. Sue Deer trap. You walked right into it. Visitors not welcome. You sure were hanging high and loose out there. Trap a man like you trap a wild animal. That's very funny. This whole roof would come down on top of you. You know that. Oh, just so you know. <laughs> you steal all this stuff, did you? Are you 14 years old? You, uh, you recognize this, Barkley? It's my saddle. I told you in the saloon you'd have reason to remember me. I sure can pick the ones to help out, can I? I don't need any help. You sure did when you got into it with your old man in the middle of that street. If you'd left us alone, I'd have killed him. Your own father. He's not my father. Now shut up about it. Now that you got me here, what do you plan on doing with me? I ain't decided. Well, now, sooner or later, you're gonna have to turn me loose. You sure about that? Now, let's see. What do you want for supper? Canned beef? Truffles? Caviar? Caviar? Well, it's a little too fancy for a Barkley, isn't it? All right, we'll just have beans. <clears throat>
You know where you are? Sure. Worked out mine. Not worked out. Abandoned. What's the difference? There's a big difference. This is the old Ophir mine. Sixteen men were buried alive here. That's why they closed it up. This whole mountain's faulted and shifting. Well, then nobody will come nosing around, will they? <laughs> you know, uh, you never did answer about why you followed me. What difference does that make? Get back to this little business of yours, shall we? How to get rid of all this stuff? Well, you see, I, uh, I sell this junk cheap to storekeepers. They don't ask questions as long as they make a neat profit. We're all thieves together. Uh -huh. Is that what you plan to be when you grow up? A thief. I just practice what the good book says. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I've had mighty good teachers. You seen Nick? And I figure he left early. Bet wasn't slept in last night. Well, maybe you met a pretty girl in town last night. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we better take a little look around for him. If he shows up grinning, full of some wild story, you can help me break his foolish neck. shaking that you won't have to worry about ever getting loose. Well, I got it figured out now what I'm going to do with you. I'm afraid uh, I'm not going to bring very much from your business partners. Well, no, probably not. But how much you figure you're worth to your family? What are you getting at? Well, I figure I'll ransom you. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not going to bring much there either. Well, I'm not greedy. Now, let's see. Uh, I need enough to get me set up in style somewhere else. But not so much that they're going to have trouble getting it in cash. Danny, you know what you're talking about. You're talking about kidnapping. Now, there's a big difference in that and stealing things to trade for food to eat. You think that sheriff's going to see the difference? There's a big difference. They catch up with you on something like this, uh, well, I can't help you. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what you followed me out here to do, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just untie those ropes and you'll make everything all right. I could try, Danny. <laughs> Danny, I could try. I could say I got thrown off my horse and you found me and helped me out. And that's all that happened. They'll believe me. $5,000. That's what they're going to believe, Barkley. $5,000. Now, let's see here. Two, the Barclays. If you want Nick back alive, get $5,000 in cash, have Mrs. Barkley deliver to Indian Springs at noon today. I'll be watching. No trick. <laughs> oh. 
or no Nick. There, that ought to do it. Yeah, that ought to do it. First step to you being hanged. Uh, catching a Sue ain't that easy. You're no Sue. That's where you're wrong. Danny Running Dog, that's me. Danny Wiggins. Wiggins? Yeah. That's his name, not mine. He's her husband, that's all he is. Who's your father? Maybe these looks of mine got you fooled. My father was an Indian. Running Dog. It was his name. Yeah. He took my mother from a wagon train. Later, they, they rescued her. When I was born, she wouldn't even look at me. So they sent you away? Yeah, but I kept running off to go back to her. She hated me. I never could understand why. And then he told me. Told me who I really was. Five thousand dollars, Barkley. That's all I'm gonna think about now. horse. say we don't have much choice. Get the sheriff. No. You don't think you're going out there alone? Yes, I am. Just as soon as you bring me the money from the bank. Now, look, we don't know who we're dealing we with We are here. dealing with Nick's life. I'm aware of that, Mother, but we're not going to save his life by doing what that note says. The note says if you want Nick back alive. Now, that seems plain enough. No, it isn't plain enough. Believe me, I know something about the pattern of kidnappers. They're scared. Once they get the money, they... They usually kill their victims, so they can't identify them. Nick is safe as long as he's of value. After that, there's no telling. Well, they... Last year, when they kidnapped the Tompkins boy, they, they let him go. They probably felt sorry for him. But it's more likely they knew he was too young to identify them. We could hide out early near Indian Springs. Catch him as he picks up the money. And if you don't, if something goes wrong? I don't want to do anything that will jeopardize any chance Nick might have. All right. We'll get the money. Jared, he's... Get the sheriff. You 
still worried about your neck? Both our necks. Well, they have that note by now. Next thing they'll hightail in into town and get that money out of the bank. You know, you, uh, you ain't near as talkative as you were. I was just thinking... Thinking about how much you're like you and I are. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm serious. I remember when I was about your age, my father gave me a horse. And he told me the day I learned to ride that horse, I'd become a man. Yeah, and I suppose you went right out and rode him, huh? Oh, no, no. No, that old horse threw me farther than most crows fly. It's quite a horse, though. I remember I used to go into the barn at night to sleep just to be near him. You know that I'm, uh, I'm not interested in your horse or your story. Oh, I love that animal. But he didn't love me too much, though. One time I went in to curry and groom him. He liked to kill me. Something about that horse, he just hated the sight of me. So I decided that I'd hate him just as much as he hated me. I took my rifle. I went into the barn, and I aimed that old rifle right between his eyes. I couldn't pull the trigger. Why not? Because I found I still loved him. And all of a sudden, I understood there was nothing I could do about the way he felt about me. So I knew what I had to do. I had to walk away from him. I had to forget him. I had to start thinking of something else, something bigger, something more important to do with my life. I had to go on living, Danny. For myself. I'd have pulled the trigger. Shoot my mother, are you? No. It's your brothers I'll be looking out for. Danny, supposing all this goes according to your plan, you get the money, then what? Hold up here till dark and get as far away as I can before morning. What about me? First town I go through, I'll drop a note to your folks so I'm where to find you. Uh, Danny, hold up a minute. Wait a minute. Look, uh, it's not too late, you know. You can call this whole thing off. I know nothing about the law, but my brother's a lawyer. He does, and... Well, maybe between he and myself, well, we can straighten this thing out for you. Leastwise, we'll stick with you. I can't. I haven't got any choice now. Can't you understand that? in these rocks here. I'll take care of the horses. We've got two hours. I wish I could tell you it was going to seem shorter. Just as long as he shows up.
What are you doing here? Just hunt rabbits, sir. Well, hunt them someplace else. Sure, Sheriff, but what's happening? What's going on? Never mind. Get back there and stay out of sight. Yes, sir. Let's get the horses. Our horses, they're gone. $5,000. Maybe you can use that to buy over your mother. There's $1,000 to make her admit you exist. Shut up! And another $1,000 to make her look at you. I'm warning you. And you can always use the rest of it to make her love you. I said shut up! That's the end of the tracks. Well, at least we know he was in this area. Fan out, keep your eyes open. Danny! Danny, you all right? Can you move? Can you move your legs? I guess we're, we're in somewhat of a mess, huh? Yeah, you could say that. You know, there's no reason for you to believe me now. But I was gonna leave a knife where you could get to it. With a little work. Why, Danny? I don't know for sure. But it doesn't matter now. It matters, Danny. It matters. We're both gonna get out of here together. It's too late, Nick. No, Danny. It's not too late. It's never too late. Danny, the clock.
cleaver. The cleaver over there, can you reach it? It's right next to your right arm. Try to reach it. Reach out for it. That's it. Come on, Danny. Try. Come on, boy. your gun. Can you reach your gun? Can you get to it? It'll give you more reach. Now get out of here! Come on, Danny, we're going out of here together. Look, Danny. I can't promise you that, that your mother will ever change, but I'll help you, Danny. Our whole family will. No! Now you try and move me, and the rest of that ceiling's gonna come down. Danny, we're going out of here together. Besides, black Irishmen and half Indians, well, that's a team that's pretty hard to beat. What do you say? Come on.
Couldn't find him? No. We looked everywhere. Including the saloon. I thought he liked it here. He did. Maybe he was just putting on an act. Oh, I don't believe that. Here do I. You wouldn't run out on me. Well, and I feel, Nick, that he wouldn't be the first backslider we've run into. Still think something's happened to him. Why don't we give the back range one more circle? All right. Well, now what happened to you? Miss Barkley? I, I know it cost plenty squaring all the things I took, so I. Well, I dug this up for you. You mean to tell me you went back into that mine after I gave you orders not to, knowing full well that a good sneeze and the whole thing had come down on top of you? Don't you listen to anybody? Only when they're right. <laughs> ah, come on, get cleaned up, boy. Come on, move. <laughs> sign of him yet? No. Nick, what makes you so sure it's Browse we're after? One of the newest hands at the ranch, is why. That's no reason, though. Well, he told me himself he used to hang around Cherokee Strip. Well, so did I once. But that don't make a man a thief. Well, I got it all figured out. Scientifically, right from this book. Isn't that one of the books Jared brought home? That's right. And this uh, Winfield, he's got it all figured out. Says you can spot a criminal by his face. His ears, for example. That's what? His ears. Now, the way I make it out is that you uh, draw a line straight back from a man's eye. And if his ear falls below that line, he's a criminal. That's all? That's it. So, we started missing things around the ranch, and, uh, well, I started taking a closer look at all the hands. And you came up with Bill Browns? Got the lowest ears. <laughs> Quiet. Shh. Well, we'll see who laughs now. It's Bill Bryles. What 
I tell you? What? What's wrong? Look at that. Low ears. Browse, what are you doing out here? What do you mean, what am I doing out here? Just answer the question. Now, look, I didn't do nothing wrong. What's going on here? We just caught ourselves a thief. Nick, Bryles and I rode out here together looking for you. He could still be the thief. Nick, not 20 minutes ago, somebody broke into the tack room and stole four of our best saddles. That's what we rode out here to tell you. Well, now, how do you know it wasn't him? Because he was standing right beside me when it happened. Oh. Nick, why don't you let the sheriff handle these things? Do that, will you, Nick? Maybe you got it wrong, Nick. Maybe we're supposed to be on the lookout for people with high ears. Chapter four, suspects. Find out. First, sign a couple of papers. And I'll wait inside. Uh, Nick, you'd have just about enough time to go see the sheriff. Oh, I'll get around to that. Oh, uh, by the way, here's something you can have. Winfield, mm -hmm. huh? So that's what that ear business was all about. A lot he knows. Well, if you'd asked, Nick, before you ran off playing detective, I could have told you there's no proof his system works. I got proof it don't. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Oh, what's all the excitement? Beer. Oh, no, 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 whiskey. Whiskey. Did you catch your thief? sign of him yet? No. Nick, what makes you so sure it's Browse we're after? One of the newest hands at the ranch. That's why. That's no reason, though. Well, he told me himself he used to hang around Cherokee's trip. Well, so did I once. But that don't make a man a thief. Well, I got it all figured out. Scientifically, right from this book. Isn't that one of the books Jared brought home? That's right. And this uh, Winfield, he's got it all figured out. Says you can spot a criminal by his face. His ears, for example. That's what? His ears. Now, the way I make it out is that you uh, draw a line straight back to a man's eye. And if his ear falls below that line, he's a criminal. That's all? That's it. So, we started missing things around the ranch, and, uh, well, I started taking a closer look at all the hands. And you came up with Bill Browns? Got the lowest ears. <laughs> Quiet. Shh. Well, we'll see who laughs now. It's Bill Bryles. What? Pete! 
What did I tell you? What? What's wrong? Look at that. Low ears. Browse, what are you doing out here? What do you mean, what am I doing out here? Just answer the question. Now, look, I didn't do nothing wrong. What's going on here? We just caught ourselves a thief. Nick, Bryles and I rode out here together looking for you. He could still be the thief. Nick, not 20 minutes ago, somebody broke into the tack room and stole four of our best saddles. That's what we rode out here to tell you. Well, now, how do you know it wasn't him? Because he was standing right beside me when it happened. Oh. Nick, why don't you let the sheriff handle these things? Do that, will you, Nick? Maybe you got it wrong, Nick. Maybe we're supposed to be on the lookout for people with high ears. Chapter four, suspects. Find out. First, sign a couple of papers. And I'll wait inside. Uh, Nick, you'd have just about enough time to go see the sheriff. Oh, I'll get around to that. Oh, uh, by the way, here's something you can have. Winfield. Mm -hmm. huh? So that's what that ear business was all about. A lot he knows. Well, if you'd asked, Nick, before you ran off playing detective, I could have told you there's no proof his system works. I got proof it don't. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. It's all the excitement. Beer. Oh, no, 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 whiskey. Whiskey. Did you catch your thief? They just pour the whiskey. You didn't catch him. Anyone ask you? I never knew you detective fellows were so temperamental. Maggie, I remember the good old days when bartenders used to mind their own business. Hmm, I remember the good old days, too. You know, there hasn't been a big spender in here since the 4th of July. Well, here's the big spender. Mm. Right. The town's full of drovers now, and they don't get...